Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. In uh, this experiment, uh, in my How to Do Life series, I've written a book of poetry called uh, Poems Practical, and I'm going to read you about 25 of them. They're very short and uh, hopefully understandable um, poems. And the first set are about uh, education. Uh, and as you'll see, I have some grave misgivings about it, even though I've had a lot of it myself. Um, so for what it's worth. Anyway, the first one is called School Ruins. Wave goodbye to your bright-eyed kindergartner. Say hello to your dulled third grader. Penmanship, parabolas, PC mantras, procrastinate, pass anyway. Prepare. Teacher re-explains anyway. Proceed to college. Go broke to derivate, denigrate, and deconstruct how the white patriarchy is fucked. Serve lattes at Starbucks. Each educrat's sin erodes school until it collapses. That's the first one. The next one on education is... This one is called, No One Believes Me. If rewinder of time I could be, I would not have gotten a PhD. Ashamed I am of the opportunity cost lost, seven years most fecund tossed. Instead of theories less valid than bellowed, Statistics less useful than stationary yellowed. Models hiding triviality in complexity. I could have read what mattered. Worked with doers ethical if tattered. Written more poetry and prose. Having opted to enhance more with form than substance, although it's from Berkeley, I'm ashamed of my PhD. No one believes me. Next poem is it's called Terminal Degree. Thick ivy envelope, bad news. We're pleased to say. I'm sorry, I have to start it again. Thick ivy envelope, bad news. We're pleased to. They say four years, honest as hinky car contracts, true average, seven. And for what? Mahalanobis is D squared, non-parametric ANOVA, Pasquale Leone M space theory, taught by profs who are clear as coal, riveting as lint, plus inquisitions written and oral. Dissertation, a year-long white noise in an empty forest. And the piece of paper? That'll be $150,000 plus $44.95 laminated. Now what? Where to, ma'am? Or apply for a postdoc. Next poem. I think this is the last one in education before we move to other topics. This is called School Psychologist marionette tests that predict but don't fix counseling too impotent laws rules regulations district county federalizations strangling conflicting impenetrable moms guilt driven to get special kid every special thing no matter what that rests from regular kids they grieve by grievance no dice, they sue. No dice, they appeal. I defend, I defend. I give up, I write report. I entered school psych to augment. I exited a marionette. And... This one, the next few are, are on the media.
This one's a haiku. It's called Media Fair, F-A-I-R. Carnival barkers pitching truncated, quote, reports, manipulating us full. The next one on the media is called Censored. I studied long, hard, the world shrugged. I worked long, hard, the world shrugged. I said the un-PC, the world censured and censored, censured and censored until I disappeared. The next one is called the silenced majority. Scream that blacks oppressed are, women paid less by far, the planet we must pay max to cool, you're deemed heroic, or at least not silenced. But dare you even whisper, Hillary's a crook, affirmative action a crock, white male quote privilege earned, you're in the silenced majority. For in private company even, to disagree with the orthodoxy, whisper truth with moxie, you're doomed to censure, censor, tarring with today's greatest curse, ist, elitist, sexist, or worst, racist. But this is a mere blink in time's epochal link, perhaps not till dead, but your case will be pled. And those are the few on the media. Uh, and now this section is called liberal and not. This is called political animals. 10 mil from fat cats, 10 mil from corporate lions, 10 mil from activist tigers, 10 mil from union panthers, 10 mil from secret snakes, become king of the jungle. Repeat. The next one is called World Reset. Countries are political accidents, breeding billions of Venus de Milo's, exit wound entrails, sobbing survivors. True, one world rule will spawn nascent states, but give the world a gravely needed reset and rest. The next one, in liberal and not, is called Merit's Requiem. Merit lived long, from Athens' podium through da Vinci's brush, Schopenhauer's skewer, Fleming's syringe, Churchill's bravura, Bernstein's too, Streisand, Spielberg, Clinton, Bill, TV, Google, iPhone, to the front page poem but resting from merit to the, quote, least among us metastasizes until too many healthy cells are strangled. What remains? A gray, fay, ignis, eldritch, mephitic, malign, miasma of manufactured, monocultured mediocrity. The next one is called Financial Expert. Sign right here. I'll do you right. Take your money. Give it flight. But are you sure? I've worked so hard, I feel like others, you'll make it lard. Fear not, my chickadee, I have solved the mystery. So trust me now, don't have a cow, just sign right here. But as time went on, the money was gone, and so was the financial expert. The next one is called, They Keep Shortening Our Chain. Long ago, the green machines shredded all freeway plans in favor of trolleys that circle empty. So, I'd like to shop there, but it's ten miles away, a half hour each way. Oh well, I'll go. That job would be cool, but it's ten miles away, an hour each way. Maybe I shouldn't. My friend's dying, but it's ten miles away. Two hours each way. Too long. The green machine ever shortens our chain, trapping us at home. The 
This next one is called Israel Never Ever. From Hitler's ashes in a desert sliver, instant Nobels, cures, tech disproportionate, even sworn enemies and women run free as river. Yet Hamas, Hezbollah, Muslim Brotherhood, Iran, all Israel bomb. So their unwanted ex-Bedouin, quote, Palestinians stay there, fully armed. Ah, Hamas, starving its Gazans by hiding guns in trucks of trade. Yet blame Israel long disarmed there, would you not blockade? Yet lapdog media, driven by short-sighted redistribution, lionize those Dark Ages racist, sexist killers bent on dissolution, and wish, sometimes quietly, as have those forever, the tiny, surrounded Israel and the Jews be never, ever. The next one's called If I Were Earth's Emperor. Replace the 200 states with one. Earth, re reverse the discrim with worth. Fossil fuel with solar, wind, nuke. School with VR, MOOC. That is, those are uh, large classes in virtual reality. Language strain, language strange with biz ethical tenure tenure i'm talking about replacing language strange in other words foreign language courses replace language strange far less like foreign languages with business ethical ethical business tenure replace tenure with merit methodical big guns with big tax refund hip-hop with music top gridlock with flying car income tax form with sales tax large, shark lawyers with wiser neutrals, arcane use, that is universities, with just-in-time modules, gov bloated with version sleek, four-year campaigns with just too weak, silly shopping with poemy stance. That's what I would do as Earth Emperor, fat chance. So I want to read this one again because it's a little complex. Each one of these I'm reversing, uh, replacing one thing with another. So if I were Earth's emperor, is this poem. Replace the 200 states with one, Earth. Replace, I'm adding the word replace each time to make it clear. Replace, reverse the discrimination with worth. Fossil fuel with solar, wind, and nuke. School with VR MOOC. Language strange with business ethical. Tenure with merit methodical. Big guns with big tax refund. Hip hop with music top. I mean, it was the best quality music. Gridlock with flying car. Income tax form with sales tax large. Shark lawyers with wiser neutrals. Arcane use, that is universities, with just-in-time modules. Gov bloated with version sleek. Four-year campaigns with just too weak. Silly shopping with poemy stance. That's what I would do as Earth Emperor Fat Chance. I should let our listeners know, or let you, our viewers, know that you're uh, listening to a, another weird episode of uh, How to Do Life. Uh, stay with me for just a moment. The announcer will tell you a bit more, and I shall be back in just a moment. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, the next poem is um, uh, called A Can of Peaches. Prepare the soil, plant the seedling. Water, feed, spray. Yes, you have to spray. Repeat previous three steps for five years. Harvest, can, ship, stock, pay shareholders. Price to consumer, one dollar. Next poem is called Silly Status. 
There is no status in waiting for your Porsche, waiting in your Porsche for the tow truck. I'll start it again. Silly status is the name of it. There's no status in waiting in your Porsche for the tow truck, in joining the unhappy lawyer army, in joining the unhappy doctor army, in a tony house that chains you to a sleazy job, in a credit card bill that chains you to a sleazy job, in a trophy wife who uses looks to unfair advantage. Silly status. The next one is called Men. Gropers, scum, lazy, stupid. This is women's era. About time. Unfair. So damn unfair. This next one is called In Defense of Men. These, these three, or this is the second of three that are uh, uh, In Defense of Men. And this one is called In Defense of Men. Hashtag Me Too implies men are inferior, if not monsters. No, most are good. What women won't, we do. From sewer to roof to rodents. Invented everything from Google to your tampons to your birth control. Built your beloved bedroom and your kitchen. And compare apples with apples. And no, I know women do not get paid less. Yet men are treated unfairly. When women are underrepresented, billions in redress. When minorities die younger, billions in redress. When men die five years younger, let's have another run for breast cancer. The next one is called Men as Beasts of Burden. Hashtag Me Too. Sitcoms, movies, ads, even, quote, news media deem men animals. Panthers praying, donkeys braying, sloths slothful, in short, turkeys. But short shrifted evermore, men they conveniently ignore. The beasts of burden, yoked to jobs soul-sucking, body-busting, by responsibility to care for wives spending, kids wanting, parents needing. Working fuller full-time on jobs back-breaking literal, plumber, miner, roofer, rat remover, or figurative, shark fighting lawyer, to fire wrestling firemen. How many 9-11 firemen were women? So, next you hear the media jeer, men are jerks, Ignore that liar's den. Think of your life's men. I guess there is one more related to males. This is about boys. This is called The Making of a School Shooter. Born white, male, and odd, to parents busy, his oddness metastasizes like concentration camps in the 40s. As peers shun, and the message in ad, film, sitcom, even curriculum, screams, Girls rule, boys drool. His cyclone balloon fills and fills and fills until in his school, lair of his Nazis, it explodes. The next one is called Phony Pizzle. At night, clowns frown, knowing they sell phony pizzle. For what's real won't sell. None buy peeks at the world's finale, even the week's hard folly. So clowns jerk and twerk, smile and style, giggle and pizzle. But behind the paint cries a drowning clown. And the last one is about aging. It's called, Is It Time? Each time I pass, the mirror reflects, is it time? Is it a magic mirror, sensing my terror of infiltrating error, wisely divining it's time to sink through the mirror and into the funhouse? No! 
Anyway, those are a couple dozen poems from my book. Uh, as I said, Poems Practical, of course, available on Amazon, as they say. It's, it's very thick. It's got about 400 poems in it. Those are 25 of, um, I think, my favorites. And so, anyway, I uh, do um, thank you for watching. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel, which usually consists of my self-help advice around career, relationships, money, the meaning of life. But I intersperse some of my uh, other kind of writings like this, um, uh, some of my essays, short stories, and my piano playing. In any event, I do thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Marty Nemco.